with a former WWE talent sentenced and more. This is Wrestling Hub. My name is John and you're watching the Wrestling Report. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Wrestling Hub Official and follow us on Twitter at Wrestling underscore Hub. In a change in appearance to one of New Japan Pro Wrestling's title belts, Will Ospreay has rebranded their IWGP United States Championship to the United Kingdom title in a post-match interview following his G1 semifinal bout. Recalling his on-screen interaction with Sami Zayn, Cody Rhodes told Fightful, It was being discussed around us, why don't we discuss it amongst us? Bruce Prichard, Ed Koski, Triple H, they all had the idea to put us in the ring together at Barclays Center. Not run from it, let's go towards each other and see. That was a moment where my confidence, Sami is amazing. I don't want to say it and throw it away. He is incredibly special. What he was doing is incredibly special. He was pulling a wagon. I wanted to be there to match him and hopefully also be incredibly special. I'm a big believer in, you can have it all. We have Jey Uso, his face is everywhere. The first guy to pin Roman in X amount of days, and here he is going for the one we all want. You can't run for it. Run towards it. I like that. It brings out the best in all of us. Touching on her knee injury that kept her off WrestleMania 37, Bailey said this to Fightful. So let's just start there. That was the stinger that really messed me up. After everything I'd done, I didn't get to wrestle WrestleMania. So that was the one time where we were in front of fans, and then we were back in front of screens. Then they put me back on, and then I got hurt. So I was boiling inside for the longest time while I was injured. That's why I knew I needed to bring in some reinforcements to make sure that, that would never happen again. Dakota and Io, I love you. As Ronda Rousey seemingly had her final WWE match at SummerSlam in a losing effort to Shayna Baszler, Ringside News wrote this about what is to come for her. According to PW Insider, Ronda Rousey is now working on her second memoir. The memoir, set to be titled Our Fight, will be published by Hatchet Book Group in Spring 2024. In his reaction video to John Oliver's Last Week Tonight episode on WWE, Maven said this about a clip of a backstage segment involving Vince McMahon, John Cena, and Booker T, where the WWE chairman said the N-word. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I forgot that existed. I am shocked Booker T allowed that. Book is one of those guys you do not mess with. Book is legit. He is a legit tough guy. I'm surprised Vince didn't get more backlash at that too. He's not getting away with that these days, I know that. After suffering an ACL tear on the July 28th edition of SmackDown, one half of the women's tag team champion Sonya Deville has undergone surgery as she posted this video of herself using a walker. Can I help you? <laughs> Look at she with that little walker. <laughs> we told them I was weight bearing so that we can get out of the hospital. Let's go. We see that weight bearing foot. <laughs> weight bearing foot. <laughs> <laughs> With a return of an exciting match type to WWE, Ringside News noted that WWE is set to take over the Allstate Arena in the Chicago suburb of Rosemont, Illinois for the 37th Survivor Series on Saturday, November 25th. No matches have been announced for the card yet, but we can confirm one huge match that will be on the show. Ringside News reached out to inquire about WWE's plans for another War Games match this year. We were told by a tenured member of Creative that War Games is considered an annual match for Survivor Series. 
At this time, WWE is planning another War Games match for Survivor Series this year. That should give fans in Chicago another huge match to add to their checklist, as they have hosted a ton of spectacular pro wrestling events in recent years. No participants have been announced or even hinted at for the next War Games match at Survivor Series. WWE obviously has a few months to plan for that match. It appears that fans in Chicago will have an even bigger reason to buy a ticket for WWE's annual November showcase now. Giving an update on future plans for Kenny Omega, Ringside News wrote that the Wrestling Observer Newsletter noted that AEW seems to be laying the groundwork for a showdown between Kenny Omega and Kenosuke Takeshita at the All Out event. That match is expected to be a singles encounter. AEW World Champion MJF will clash with Adam Cole with the title on the line in the main event. Also, AEW World Tag Team Champions FTRs Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler will face off against the Young Bucks Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson. Despite the loaded card, plans for Kenny Omega's participation in this event and All Out in Chicago are not confirmed yet. When it comes to a potential fatal four-way between the Usos, Solo Sokoa, and Roman Reigns, Ringside News wrote the Wrestling Observer Newsletter noted while writing about the SummerSlam main event match that the match itself was more throwing out things to keep the storyline going, with Jimmy and Jay now at odds and the inevitable Reigns vs. Solo Sokoa confrontation teased strongly when Reigns accidentally speared Sokoa. I could even see a major pay-per-view built around a four-way with all four vying for the title. Ringside News reached out to inquire about the idea of a four-way bloodline match. A tenured member of the creative team told us that they had never heard that idea from anyone. Last night for WWE's most recent show, it appears a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion and free agent was present, as it was reported that Nick Aldis is backstage at WWE Friday Night SmackDown in Calgary, continuing his tryout as a WWE producer, PWInsider.com has confirmed. When it comes to the feud between the Usos in WWE, it looks like the company has an interesting idea with WRKD Wrestling revealing that there have been discussions to potentially use Rikishi as a special guest referee in the future for the Usos' upcoming feud. Mentioning what is in the pipeline for the main event of next year's WrestleMania, Ringside News said, WrestleMania 40 will take over Philadelphia's Lincoln Financial Field on Saturday, April 6th and Sunday, April 7th, 2024. The showcase of the Immortals will undoubtedly bring a loaded two-night event to Philly. Roman Reigns is still going strong as undisputed Universal Champion, and there is a lot of ground to cover before April rolls around. That being said, WWE has a direction for their main event for the show of shows next year. Ringside News was told by a tenured member of the creative team that things can change and that's something to note. But Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes has always been the obvious direction for WrestleMania 40. It was also noted that this has been the theory since before their match at WrestleMania 39. After Rick and Charlotte Flair unfollowed Andrade on social media and Charlotte removed her ring emoji from her social media bio, Andrade would unfollow her as well. This led to speculation of the two going their separate ways as a couple, with them being married back in May of last year. Now, Andrade has uploaded a video following the breakup rumors where he is lounging and having a glass of wine. A former WWE star has been sentenced over strangling a driver's ringside news wrote, WWE superstars lead a variety of lives after they exit the company, after all nothing can last forever. Now we have an update on Kyle Rasmussen, 
who was previously known as Conrad Tanner in WWE, and how much trouble he found himself in. The former WWE developmental talent has been sentenced to 153 days in jail for strangling a driver while seated in the back of a vehicle. Some fans might not remember Conrad Tanner much because his last match was in WWE's FCW developmental system on November 11, 2010. Rasmussen faced charges of assault to do bodily harm, less than murder, or by strangulation, which led to his arraignment in November last year. His sentence was handed down and he will spend 153 days in prison, along with two years of probation. After initially entering a plea of not guilty, he later altered it to a no contest plea, signifying acceptance of the conviction's outcome without admitting guilt. The incident transpired on October 29th, 2022, as Kyle Rasmussen was riding in a 2012 Chevrolet in Rochester Hills. While seated in the back seat, he attempted to grab the steering wheel and strangle the 31-year-old male driver. The driver managed to halt the vehicle and escape the scene. Kyle Rasmussen's girlfriend, Sarah Ratliff, was also present in the vehicle and fled during this incident. Tragically, she was struck by a vehicle approximately 100 feet from the scene and passed away due to her injuries shortly after at a local hospital. Kyle Rasmussen was released from W. WWE in late 2010. He joined WWE in 2009 after a successful tryout, bringing his background in Michigan State football to the promotion. Operating within Florida Championship Wrestling, Rasmussen collaborated with notable names like Big E, Wade Barrett, and Titus O'Neil. In more recent years, he transitioned to working as a fitness trainer. Now, he is facing this terrible incident. And this was your pro wrestling news update. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.